Okay, we're live with James speaking, TradingSites.io. Today, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, some AI tasks. That's between a AI prompt and response and a fully automated AI agent for that next step there. And I'm going to be using ChatGPT uh, task to show you how this works. So uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, ChatGPT tasks was introduced, I think, last week or the week before. At least that's when I got a hold of it. And what it does is it allows you to uh, give a prompt as a kind of example and have it run at a certain point in time and either recur or uh, repeat on a regular basis. So those are things that are kind of like a reminder would be kind of a to-do list or a reminder that comes up. But there's some other things that you can do with it are really important if you're creating online courses, if you're creating tutorials, how-to materials, in the education business, there's some powerful stuff happening. I've been talking about it a lot over the last two weeks, and this is just the start of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the actual prompts here uh, for all of this stuff. So anything I'm talking about is available at trainingsites.io. If you haven't joined yet, make sure to join. It's free. We've got a complete library of all these videos, uh, additional resources, and the prompts that I'm talking about. So what we're going to do, the things that I'm going to talk about with you are the examples I'm going to give. And the prompts that I've included are, I have a YouTube playlist agent. I'll show you how that works. I've got a weekly YouTube newsletter agent. I've got a new video email marketing agent. I've got a new video course lesson agent and an AI daily news summary agent. And these are just five that I did up based on the things that I do on a regular basis if I'm in an education business. I create videos. I take the videos and I convert them to lessons. I send out emails to remind people. I put a summary in a newsletter. I also do research in my industry and kind of get that information back. So I have topics to talk about. So these are all agent tasks that once they're set up, they can run in the background without me having to do anything. The thing that's the difference between, you know, a, a real agent and a task is I have to set these up, but they cannot be connected at this point. So I can run individual tasks, but those tasks are not connected to each other so that they can run autonomously together. And that's kind of the next step that's happening very, very quickly here. So let me take a look at some examples and I'll show you what I mean by this. And I'll open this one up. Uh, actually, it'd be, probably be a good place to do if I start that. So uh, just to put this in perspective, for example, here's my YouTube channel. Uh, I did this video, actually, when was it? Uh, uh, where's the one that I did just recently? Uh, yeah, I was talking about, uh, just looking for the one. Yeah, so all, all I want people to do is create YouTube videos. And here's the reason why in this particular prompt. So I create YouTube videos one to two every day, and I put them in playlists. So what I do normally is I take the YouTube content that's there that I create on YouTube and I bring it over and I automatically, not automatically, but I have to put or fill in a summary of the video, the transcription of the video, and I put it in my campus so that they are all available here as an example. And each of these particular ones, um, you know, if I go and open this up, for example, uh, just to show you what happens in here, but I have the content where it's got a summary, key takeaways, that kind of thing is created. So right now what's happening is if I'm doing that manually with ChatGPT, it's great at doing the summaries, but I have to run that prompt and then I have to get it over to my WordPress site and then I have to do it. And if I'm going to send a newsletter, I've got to run that prompt manually and then get it to do that prompt and then get it into the format that I'm interested in. So these tasks are one that run automatically based on a trigger or something that happens and it gives me a response. And I can have it set up that it recurs or happens on a regular period of time. So what I wanted to do in this case, he said, you know what? Every time I get a brand new YouTube video, every time that I add a new YouTube video here, what I want to do is I want to get an automatic uh, text that I can use to as the lesson content for that page. So what I did is I went to ChatGPT and I'll open this one up and I created a particular uh, prompt and I'll show you where it is, but I just said, you are an assisting in creating educational materials from a YouTube playlist. Check the playlist at, and I put the playlist URL 
for new videos. If there are new videos based on its title, link, and optional transcript, produce the following. And then I ask for a detailed summary of the key talking points, five learning objections, five quiz questions, a concise handout such as a guided checklist, uh, outlines in the main content, three discussion prompts that encourage further exploration and engagement, and then cleaned up grammatically correct and properly punctuated detailed transcript of the video written at a grade aid level. And then it says only perform these tasks if the video is detected, if it's a new video detected in the playlist. Okay, so this is the prompt that I gave it. And what I've done is I went to ChatGPT again, and I went and said, you know what, we better put that in as a recurring task. And if you haven't seen these before, um, I, I've got a whole other video on how these work. So I'm gonna skip over this just uh, if you do have, I'll, I'll put the link before so that you can see it. So um, this one here, you have to have a paid ChatGPT account right now. And you'll know if you have it, if you go in the little menu here where you pick your actual uh, large language model that's there. You see the one here, it says GPT-40 with scheduled tasks in beta. So you have it if this shows up. And you can also find in your upper right hand corner here where your uh, profile is or your avatar you'll see that it also has tasks. So in my particular case, I have some tasks that were set up. And the one that I'm looking at right now is this one here, create course materials from YouTube videos. So I'm just gonna show you what that one looks like and I'm gonna open it up and we'll edit it. And here's what I put in. The same prompt that I had, the only thing that I did as you'll see right here, this is the URL for a playlist. So it's checking this playlist on my YouTube account. Remember, it doesn't have to be my YouTube account. It could be your YouTube account, your competitor's YouTube account, the place where you get research, but it's looking at a playlist. And it looks for every time there's a new video and then it runs that instruction. And I have it set up here. It's scheduled daily at 10.45 p.m. And I gave it a name. So. Let me just cancel this. This is going to run whether I place a prompt manually. It's just running in the background. I don't have anything to do with it. Except every day at 1045, if I published a YouTube video, because that's the place I told this particular task to look, if I published one, what happens is I will get, and let me just one see if we got here. I have to make sure that I can actually see this one. We'll open it up. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Just going to scroll up here because this is the response that I got from the time that it ran. I've been playing around with this, obviously. So let me just go up a little bit. Uh, of course, I can't find it when I want to find it quickly. And let's do this instead. I'm going to show you one other thing that you can do. Well, I'm going to put this here just so I can find it in the background. But one of the other things that I got is um, the one of the limitations to this is that if you set up a task, it stays in that same chat. And I did a whole bunch more in this chat, so my answer is hidden in there. But it also sends you an email. So what I'm going to do in the background here, I'm just going to look for my email where I got the summary of it. And it will be able to see uh, what the actual direct link is to that. So there we go, um, just going to go through. And I've got a couple of these running, so hopefully I'll be able to fund, hopefully I'll be able to fund that I was looking for. And of course, oh, there we go. Here we go. Okay, so let me pull this one up for you. So this is the one that when I ran that prompt, sorry for the little delay there, when I ran that prompt, course materials from YouTube videos, it says upon retrieving the YouTube playlist, the most recent file was called this pre-prompt will save time and money to make your content uh, feel 100% 100 100 authentic. And it was published. So what it did is it created a detailed summary, just like I asked it to. Gave me the learning objectives from the video. Gave me quiz questions I could use. 
And again, these are questions, again, you can adjust all these. This is just some samples that I did. It also gave me stuff for the handouts. It also gave me a detailed transcription that was there. And it also includes the sources or links back to the content. So there's an example of something that happens in the background. It's automatically done. This task is done. I didn't prompt anything. I don't have to go check every day. I don't have to double check and make sure that I've got an individual link that was on a playlist. Make sure, well, I did it with that one yesterday. I did do it that way. It's in one place. It stays in a chat. So that's an example of one that can be used. But there's other things that get done, right? When you're working on all of the stuff in your online education business. So let's take a look at some other ones that you may not have considered, but are things that you end up having to do. So there's the playlist one. I also included one on a weekly YouTube newsletter agent. So this particular one, what I did is said, you're creating a weekly newsletter for an audience of first time course creators. So again, I put it in context. Digital entrepreneurs and educators who want practical insights and actionable advice. The newsletter content should be sourced exclusively from my playlist or playlists. So if I added my videos, for example, to a playlist or playlists, I can pull from that particular playlist. And this newsletter agent that's doing a weekly newsletter is going to use or create content based on what's in the videos. And I'm asking it to create a headline, a video summary, direct links to the videos, quick tips or pro advice. Did you miss it for links back to previous ones or forward ones? What's next is an example and a call to action. So this task runs in the background. I've said it once and all I have to do is create my videos. I got a newsletter now. So I have brand new summaries that I can post on my campus. I've got a newsletter that runs automatically. What else do I want to do? Well, the next thing, of course, is not everyone's on my campus right away and not everyone's on YouTube, but I do have an email list. So wouldn't it be a great idea if I could have a series of emails written for me that I can automatically set up and go out so that they are being sent to people on my list just in case they didn't do it? So I set it up so they have two emails in the next agent. And you're creating a series of emails based on new videos in the YouTube playlist. And then it says, each new video in the playlist, do an announcement email. So email number one, it gives a subject line prompt. Here's what kind of subject line you put in. Put the body in and you describe what kind of body, conversational, friendly tone, mention why it's worth watching, what subscribers will learn and how they can benefit from it and a call to action that includes a direct link. So I do an announcement one, hey, it was just published, it's there. And then a day later, there's one that says, hey, reminder email. In case you missed it, here's the link to the last video. So we've got a weekly newsletter with a recap of what happened during the week. We've got the individual ones for any new video created. Now we've got two emails that go out and they're sent automatically. And again, have I prompted for any of this? Have I manually gone in and figured out a great prompt and then put it in, copied the information that I got, made sure it was formatted? No, I've set these up once. These are tasks that are recurring. In my case, I've got daily, weekly, and then this one is based on any new video that gets created. Now, sometimes people say, well, you know what? I've got five videos or I put a bunch of videos in. Wouldn't it be great if I could create like a course out of it or have lesson text for it? It's one thing to have a course with, you know, just a video sitting there. But what about if we could have actual text for the course materials that go with it? Well, that's why I created a lesson text agent. And this one says you are creating the written lesson text for the online course using the content from the playlist. And again, all you have to do is put a YouTube video up and keep them organized in a playlist. And, occur to, and the lesson should be well-structured, engaging, and provide learners with both core concepts and additional supportive material. And then I gave it some instructions about the core content, additional content or context, real-world examples, add visuals, interactive elements, resources, and references and write a fully written lesson text that combines the content from the YouTube playlist video and these additional elements. Ensure the text is clear. So it's all there. So what this means now is I've got lesson text and all I did is I put together my YouTube video. And then finally, one of the things that I often do is I subscribe to a bunch of YouTube channels. I pay attention to what's going on in the whole AI industry and the agents and stuff because I'm excited about it for education businesses. But I want to get a summary of news so I'm not having to read and watch all the videos and keep track of all this. So 
I have a daily AI news summary agent. And what it does, search for the latest YouTube videos about AI tools from Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, and related additional content. For each video, provide the following details for each result. The title and source, a link to it, a topic summary, relevant uh, tools or features, practical applications, potential benefits, and any necessary references or resources. So this runs daily, and it gives me a list of all of the ones that are important in my space. So now I have a lot more broader context of what's going on in my world, how it other things that are going on relate to what it is that I'm excited about, which is all this education business stuff. So I've got five tasks that run there by themselves once they're set up. I don't have to prompt anymore. I don't have to keep track of all of it. It just gets created for me. So there's a couple limitations on this right now with ChatGPT. And the thing that you, know, that you have to kind of keep in mind here is that you do need a paid plan. Right now, it's only for text. You can't do it uh, if you're trying to use the audio interface to, to ChatGPT. You have to have a paid account. And the part that, that is exciting for me in this, and this is a part I've been trying to, trying to explain it because I don't know it 100%, but I know it's coming because of what I've been reading and what I've been researching, is this is going to be able to be uh, nested together. So I did five individual tasks in this particular example. What's happening in the whole AI agent space is my understanding is that all of these individual tasks are going to be able to be nested or connected together so that if there's a trigger, a new YouTube video, it will automatically do the summary and populate it or put it directly into my WordPress site or it will create the audio or create the graphics on napkin.ai and all these other tools. So they're all going to be connected. That's the first thing. The second thing is some people say, well, hey, I can already do that with you know, Zapier. Yeah, you can connect tasks, but those tasks are not related to each other in context. And the part that's cool about AI, and I'm just noodle at this for a second, if I'm talking about my particular market and the content that gets created is based on my material and my uh, opinion or outlook because it's all being based on my database of content when it's being created. Think what happens is as these tasks get carried on to each one, they're always in context. So it's not like just taking some data here and then putting it into this system and having this system put it into another one they know each other and they know that this is what it's about. This is the way I like it. This is the way that it likes to be presented. These are the formats that like to be done and it's all interconnected and it's autonomous. So once you set this up, you're done. You have to understand the rules and that's the exciting part about setting up our systems or processes. But once this is done, you're all set. You now have an education business where your job is to create videos and content and have all of the repurposing and the repackaging, the personalization is going to be done for you. And this is happening fast. So take a look through this. I got the prompts for you. I hope you like them. Uh, they're there for you to create. I have some additional videos as well in the training sites uh, campus there about how to use the ChatGPT tasks. Uh, if you don't have it yet, it's in beta, so I would think that it'll be coming soon. But this is an exciting time. If you're into creating courses, into creating online material uh, about teaching, starting, building, growing education business, it's going to be a lot of fun. So my name is James. Uh, if you need some help starting and building, growing your education business, make sure to join. I'm here to help. And of course, like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I do these every day, one or two, just because it's a lot of fun. So take care and expect the best.